Welcome back guys this is question 2.53 and the statement of it is the probability that an American industry will locate in Shanghai China is 0.7 the probability that it will locate in Beijing China is 0.4 and the probability that it will locate in either Shanghai or Beijing or both is 0.8 okay so let me write the given data first so given data here is we have this given data and the given data here is let me write the shanghai with the, this s and beijing with b so the probability of shanghai is what that is 0.7 okay. probability of beijing is how much that is 0 0.4 okay. so uh, the probability that it will locate in either Shanghai or Beijing or in both is basically the union. Okay, why is it union? Because in union, either Shanghai or Beijing or both can be present in the event sets. So, therefore, what do I have to do? I have to write probability of S union B is how much that is 0 0.8. Okay, so what is the probability that the industry will locate part A in both cities and in neither city? So let me solve part A here and when it will have to be located in both cities it will be probability of S and B, Shanghai and Beijing. So how to calculate we know the very famous formula and that is probability of S union B is probability of S plus probability of B minus probability of s intersection b so now changing their positions what i will get i will get probability of s and b is probability of s plus probability of b minus probability of s union b writing their values what i will get 0 0.7 plus 0 0.4 4 minus 0 0.8 okay. so adding them together i will get here 0 0.3 which is probability of shanghai and beijing together okay. so that is the solution of part a here okay. so in neither city what do i have to do i have to calculate the probability that it is neither in shanghai nor in Beijing okay so it will be what it will be 1 minus what when it will be in Shanghai or Beijing or any one of them so I have to find the inverse of them okay so in order to find the inverse of them I have to calculate the complement of it so that would be 1 minus probability of S union B okay writing their values that would be 1 minus 0 0.8 because 0 0.8 has been given here and at the end the answer of it will be 0 0.2 okay so that is what that is the solution of part b okay. so uh, i hope you have understood the concept behind this type of questions and i will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video see you soon